Hello guys and welcome back. And Kit Kat is back in the game with their Pink Lemonade Kit Kat. Oops, there we go. Pink Lemonade, yeah. So the thing is, like, I don't understand say this, artificially favored. Of course it is, you know, <laughs> it's a Kit Kat. So, but I guess I still have to say that for the dollars out there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna crack this open and see if it tastes like Pink Lemonade. Or if it's just a subterfuge. And it's broken in half, long waves, and there she is. It smells like pink Skittles. Let's give it a break. This was in the freezer, so. Had to break it in long ways. Nice steak chocolate on the uh, Kit Kat. Now, it smells like pink lemonade. Now let's taste it, see if it tastes like pink lemonade. Let's give it the bite. Mmm. Yes. Where'd you go, Kit Kat? Yeah. <laughs> the same pleasurable Kit Kat crunch, but crispies inside. Wrapped in a layer of of uh, white chocolate flavored like pink lemonade or pink Skittles, tropical Skittles. So if you like Kit Kat and Skittles, you'll love this. I would give this an 8 out of 10. Way to go, Skittles. Thank you guys for watching today, and I will taste you next time. <laughs> Hello guys and welcome back and today we are tasting on an old favorite. Um, a little, actually a little twist on the old favorite. Remember these Rice Krispie Treats? Well now they've been dunked in cookies and cream chocolate. So what we're going to do is we're going to rip this open and we're going to see what the happy has. <laughs> okay. Oh, nice. Completely covered it looks like. And you can see the little flakes of cookie in there. Smells about the same, and now time for the bite. Hmm. Maybe you can put this in the fridge, that's why it's kind of hard. I put it in the fridge, so it's kind of hard, so. The flavor's not bad. The reason why I put it in the fridge is because on my drive home, when I pick this up, Blazing hot outside, and same in my car. But the flavor, other than the you know the it being hard as hell, <laughs> the consistency and the um, the flavor is exactly what you expect with uh, the Rice Krispie treats. But the addition of the chocolate makes it that much better. So that's a nice cooler bite. I think it's pretty good. I would give this a. A 7 out of 10. Ready to go. Thanks guys for watching me today and I will taste you next time. <laughs> Hello guys and welcome back. And just when you think that one company has the market cornered, here comes another company with a variable, a variant. So, what I'm talking about right now are White Castle has, grab it, White Castle has Burger bites. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna see what these are and what they taste like in a flash. And now we're back. Okay, so we have them and uh it smells good because sometimes I know that some of the other pizza roll companies that uh, make rolls, not pizza rolls, but rolls like these, they use a lower grade like dough to wrap their their pizza or their beef. And it smells really bad when you cook it. These were like in the uh, air fryer for about five minutes. Get nice and crispy. And they smell really good. You can smell the cheese. You can smell the burger. Let me rip open them real quick. Yeah, and you can see that they use uh, like white cheese, some kind of American white cheese. And the, uh, the beef inside is cubed and smells really good. Now, Totino's Pizza Rolls uses the bread that I think is top notch when it comes to these types of uh, wrappings for snacks. 
No, it's uh, we nice and crisp. Like I said, five minutes in the air fryer. You can do them in the oven as well. You know, microwave. I never microwave these things. I like them crisp. So now, let's give it a taste. Mmm. They're very tasty. Very tasty. It's uh, it's good, and um, these would go great with ketchup. Yes. And um, or mayo or anything you like to eat your burgers with. I think it would be good as a dipping sauce. You dip it in and just smash it. But these are great. I would give these an eight out of ten. They're very yummy and they're tasty. And uh, they're bite size. <laughs> no choking, right? So with that being said, guys, thank you for watching me today, and I will taste you next time. Hello guys and welcome back and today we're talking on another gummy, Albanese gummy. So we're going to see they have 12 flavors and we're going to taste a couple of them and see how they stack up. Let's grab it. Here we are, Albanese gummies. Let's rip her open. I can never eat these things on me. Fruity smell, really fruity I can smell. Go in and grab the green. Sour apple, not bad, it's pretty good. Very chewy. But you guys already know what I think is the the aces when it comes to gummies. That's right. <laughs> Let's try another one. I think this is a clear one. I can't really pick what that's. It has a strong smell, but I can't tell what that is. What is that? No idea. Pineapple. Pineapple. You have the yellow one? Squishy. The flavors are good, but the consistency, which isn't out there with my favorite. You know what I mean? So, with that being said, guys, I'll give these a 7 out of 10. Not bad. Consistency can do a little bit better, can do a little bit better but the flavor... It's pretty good. Thank you guys for watching today, and I will taste you next <laughs> Do you call it soda, or do you call it pop? Let me know in the comments below, guys. But today, we're talking about my top five retired sodas. Number five, RC Cola. You can still kind of find it in a couple places. Is it Pepsi, or is it Coke? We couldn't make a decision, so it had to go. Number four, Surge. Now, the people at Coca-Cola thought that it would be a good idea to start it up in 2003. It failed. And then they brought it back in 2013. Failed again. <laughs> no, sir. Thank you. Number three. New Coke in 1985. And then was murdered in 1986. One year, guys. Just one year. Number two. Hubba Bubba Soda. Really? Hubba bubble, hell no. <laughs> Number one, clear Pepsi or crystal Pepsi. Did anybody drink this stuff? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching me today, guys, and I will taste you next time. Hello, guys, and welcome back. And today we're talking on another gummy, Albanese gummy. So we're going to see they have 12 flavors, and we're going to taste a couple of them and see how they stack up. Let's grab it. Here we are, all the these gummies. Let's rip the open. I can never eat these things on me. Fruity smell, really fruit I can smell. Go in and grab the green. And sour apple, not bad, it's pretty good. Very chewy. But you guys already know what I think is the the aces when it comes to gummies. That's right. <laughs> Try another one. I think this is a clear one. I can't really pick what that is. It has a strong smell, but I can't tell what that is. What is that? Mmm. 
No idea. Pineapple. Pineapple. You have a yellow one? Squishy. The flavors are good, but the consistency, which isn't out there with my favorite. You know what I mean? So, with that being said, guys, I'll give these a 7 out of 10. Not bad. Consistency can do a little bit better, can do a little bit better but the flavor is pretty good. Thank you guys for watching me today, and I will taste you next time. <laughs> How you doing, guys? My Chris here, and today I'm coming at you guys with a new but old but new favorite. What I'm talking about, guys, are warheads. That's right. So we got warheads, but now they're called Galactic Cube Warheads. So what we're going to do is we're going to taste these and see what's going on. And supposedly, there's stuff inside. So we're going to get the little bag in here. They're all the same color. They're the Galactic Mix. So let's we'll go ahead and keep these suckers open. Hey, I got that. Can you believe that? We're getting a little better at this, I think. Pour a couple out. Now they have the little crystals on there, the little sugar crystals on there. And so it looks, they look kind of like they're maybe fuzzy, you know? They look like they may be a little fuzzy. There's a little crystals. Let's take it for the bite. Great consistency. Very sour. Mm -hmm. They're great consistency and they're very sour. Like normal warheads. I like the fact that they're soft. And they break up quite well. So they're not like super gummy like some things and they stick all in the teeth. They kind of break up and it goes down nice. So I'll give these uh, Warheads Galactic Cube Mix. I will give them an 8 out of 10. Thank you guys for watching me today and I will taste you next time. <laughs> Hello my friends and welcome back. And today we're going to discuss what are the top 5 worst buffet dishes you should never go after. Number 5. Spaghetti. If I wanted leftovers, I want to stay my black behind at home. Number four, anything tartar. Now it really takes a premium chef in order to get that steak, that beef, or anything tartar to the right precise flavor and temperature. Now you really think that a chef of that caliber is really in the back at a buffet? Come on, son. Number three, eggs. That's at this juncture where it becomes the magical fruit. That goes for scrambled eggs, sunny side up, deviled, send you right to hell. <laughs> Number two, jello. What are you for? And number one, any type of seafood, unless you're trying to regurgitate. Yeah. I just had a flashback, guys. <laughs> Thank you for watching me today, and I will taste you next time. <laughs> Hello, guys. Mark Wish back in the house, and today we're going to be tasting jello. It has a candy now, sour berry blue jello candy squares. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and grab this over here. Present and now it's time to open it up and see what is going on. There we go. It looks kind of like it looks kind of like uh, Airheads. Airheads is awesome. I love Airheads. It is just, they didn't lie, it's a square. It's kind of greenish, like aqua green, so hopefully you guys can see that, but let's try for the taste. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely not airheads. It's kind of tough. The sugar crystals on it kind of make it give you the consistency of sandpaper. And it, the mouthfeel isn't very pleasing. It's hard to like, for it to break up while you, while you chew it. It's hard for it to break up. It just kind of, it wants to stay together. Stick to Jello, guys. This sucks. I give this five out of 10. Okay, guys, thank you for watching today and I'll taste you next time. <laughs>